Granted. Granted. Show mercy, let my soldiers live. Some might call that a weakness.
up two chances. Some of my men aren't responding, but I'm still reading life signs. Strange. I'm standing, he's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Burke out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use. Return to loading bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it.
Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. And the prisoners? Ah, yes. The prisoners. With Kavanaugh out, it's only a matter of time before this base makes international headlines. Until that time, however, I cannot say what Bell Tower will do next. I only know that a cornered and desperate bull is a very dangerous beast. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Buck did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, 
We've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of coordinating of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead. And once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Burke remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Mr. Jensen. Allow me to stop you there, before you say anything that might embarrass us both. What? Please. I detected your Cassie augmentation the moment you started to analyze my facial movement for pattern sequencing. But back in your workshop, you... All part of the game. Think nothing of it. As much as I enjoyed your clumsy attempts at persuasion the first time around, we'll just move on from here, now. Pretending you managed to convince me to be more forthcoming with my words. What is it you hope to learn? Something more tangible than a flowery speech about idealism. Because I admire your tenacity, I will attempt to satisfy your curiosity. But only if you'll humor me for a moment and answer a question of my own. Sounds fair. In Roman mythology, Janus was a god depicted as having two heads, each gazing in the opposite direction. One looking eastward, the other west. Symbolically, this meant many things to the Romans. But I'm more curious as to what it might mean to you. Looking forward and backward at the same time. Sounds like indecision to me. I suppose infinite perspective could be considered paralyzing at times. Yes, technically, I suppose there is no incorrect answer. Theologians and philosophers have debated the origin and meaning of Janus for millennia. But in time, that name may take on new meaning for you. Why? What are you getting at? While the term invisible war has lost much of its significance due to misappropriation, I assure you, there has never been a better way to describe what is happening in the world. The lives of millions are being decided without a drop of blood ever spilt. But the casualties remain the same. Myself and others are fighting a never-ending battle against forces that seek absolute dominion over our fates. You're telling me the people running Bell Tower want to rule the world? Bell Tower Associates is no more than a proxy. Puppets on a global stage. The true enemy hides in shadows. The disembodied hands that pull the strings of Bell Tower and others. This is neither the time nor the place to go into detail, but everything you've witnessed here today is in direct correlation with Illuminati interests. <sighs> Roman gods and Illuminati. Wonderful. You asked for clarity, and I'm being as honest as I can. Whether you choose to acknowledge them or not, lines are being drawn. Most will never be lucky enough to pick a side, but a time will come when you will have to. I have chosen mine. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. 
You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, mate. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset.
it's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. 